Hi everybody! I'm on location here in St. Thomas at one of my favorite stores, Snack City. It's a popcorn store and they have delicious treats in there and all the colors of the rainbow, which I thought was pretty appropriate for this new junk journal that I'm doing inspired by the Rainbow High dolls. Let's go check out the colors inside. Oh, it already smells so yummy. Here we are. Whew. We have everything in here. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. So if you're ever in St. Thomas, you have to stop here at Snack City. It smells delicious and there's so many treats. I think I'm gonna get myself a little something something, but there's so many choices. Hmm, this is one of my favorites, cotton candy. Another one of my favorites is on this wall. It has all the rainbow colors and it's called rainbow. Maybe I'll get some of that too. We'll see you back in the junk room to see this beautiful junk journal part one inspired by the Rainbow High dolls. When I think of rainbows, I think of lots and lots of beautiful colors and God's promise to us about never flooding the entire earth again. These are beautiful dolls. Now I had to go through my stash after looking at all the, the packaging, which is crazy amount of stuff. I love this sentiment. Let your true colors shine. Love that. I have two boxes to work with because I'm making two junk journals. I went through my scrapbooking paper looking for double-sided bright paper and I came across this lovely, colorful, bright paper, a KNC company specialty paper called Berry Sweet. I'm going to use something from here because it's just so bright and fun. Oh, look at the monkeys. How fun. Oh, dear. I'll come back to that as I try to decide. I did go through my colored paper and pulled that out. I made this painting with string, string art painting, and I photocopied it so that I have two. And then this was another one that I did in the summer when I was doing the string art painting and I think I just put the leftover paint and that's what came of that. So I printed those off from the original. I also have some dyed paper that I just got a bunch of white paper and a paintbrush. Some of it's ink with different colored inks and some of it is paint. So I've got purple I've got some yellow, I got some blue, 
and some pink along with some marble painting prints that I did and this this is what was left of it so I just split that in half I'll use that and then this is from a digi kit these colored paper which I thought so appropriate and then some blue with some coffee dyed splats they're so fun I thought that between all of these papers it would look very much like a rainbow I'm just going to fold all the papers in half I'm only going to do one of the books on camera because I'm, I'm doing the exact same in both and on the back is just coffee dyed ephemera ember ephemera ember <laughs> really uh, pushed me out of my comfort zone and using brighter colors which I normally don't use. But I loved how that the Femme Rember junk journal turned out. And I hope that my young friends will like this journal that I'm making for them. I hope they'll write in it or draw in it. And I am going to leave some white papers because you can have white in your junk journals too. I want to have 15 in each. I'm going to do the, these ones. This is double sided, so that'll look really neat. Oh, and I was going to do this one, right? We have to get some glitter. Glitter in here. Now I have to cut those. I'm going to set the one set aside. Just looking, this is regular copy paper, so that is how, that will show me how tall I want it. And I think for the cover, it's going to be an envelope. I think that will work out perfectly for this little project. I want to make sure I have all the colors of the rainbow dolls in here but it's hard hard to tell I had to look <laughs> look what colors these were for the rainbow high dolls there are six and I didn't realize that there were different series one through four so we're working on series four we have burgundy orange yellow blue purple and turquoise we have burgundy 
orange, yellow, turquoise, blue, purple. These are old envelopes from work that I'm going to use for my cover. I don't want papers higher than this. That will be my, my guide. And I'm just going to start putting the signature together with the papers. And if they're too wide, that's okay. We can make pockets, we can tear them. We can do all sorts of things with them. I think I want those owls as the center. That would be fun. In pink, the pink and the purple, we shall fold back to make a little tuck spot. If I can find a burgundy paper, I will add it. This I'm going to use as the turquoise color. This will be as close to burgundy as I, I can get. And it's double-sided so that that works. And I think this goes well with that owl page, but I want to break up the color a little bit. I didn't get a real purple. I'm still looking for a purple. Purple's my favorite color. I can't believe there's no purple in here. Gotta be purple so somewhere. We can always add the colors in different ways, whether sprays, inks, paint. We can definitely bring in purple. There's a little bit of purple there and purple here. I think that's where I wanted it. Oh, maybe over here. That, I think, would give us our 15 pages. And 15. I'm going to turn this one around, I think. And that fits all right in there. We'll trim some of that up. I'm going to glue this shut. These were the boxes that their accessories came in. This is the purple. I can use this as the purple piece. Can use it in a couple of different ways can be uh, make a, a tuck a tuck spot can make tags little tags so there's that one.
Well, that gives us some things to work with. What to do for this cover? 